hey guys welcome back to my channel i hope you're doing so great and your weekend is going great today's video is going to be a men's shirt refashion it's been a minute since i did one of these kinds of videos and i found this beautiful yellow shirt i thrifted it for three dollars and i turned it into this pretty bustier crop top i really love how this turned out and i really love the fact that this top is yellow it just puts me in a good mood and i hope it puts you in a good mood too i love how this turned out i think it's super cute you can pair it with a skirt with jeans whatever you please and we have a beautiful shirt back so in case you want to make one for yourself let's get right into it First things first, we're going to remove the curved edge at the bottom. All my thrifted shirts come with a curved edge. And I hate this. I actually should look for shirts with a straight line at the bottom. This would make my work a whole lot easier. So all I did is I drew a straight line using my ruler and my piece of chalk. And I'm just going to cut off that excess bit of fabric. After this was done, I just got rid of that bit of fabric. So now all I'm doing is I'm marking 34 centimeters from the bottom. And this is going to be the length of my top. I actually ended up reducing it but let's just work with it as is right now we're going to get to that later and now all I'm doing with a piece of chalk and my ruler is drawing a straight line across the points that way I have a proper guideline so that I can cut in a straight line because I am pathetic at cutting in straight lines once we have our line I just used a pair of scissors to snip off the fabric and now we have the base of our top so taking this bit of fabric, I'm just going to open it up, that way I can easily hem the top and the bottom. There was this weird patch on my shirt, but let's just ignore it, I have no idea what that was. And now all I'm doing is I'm going to double roll the fabric at the bottom and double roll the fabric at the top and do a straight stitch straight across. I sim ripped the top button, mostly because I felt it would break my needle as it was so close to my edge. And after doing that, I'm just rolling in my fabric twice and doing a straight stitch straight down so take your time with this you don't need to pin it beforehand as this is pretty easy to do but you can definitely do it in case it makes everything much much easier so all i'm doing is i'm rolling in the fabric twice and doing a straight stitch down Always remember to backstitch when starting and ending your sewing, that way it doesn't come unraveling. And this is what our top and bottom edge look like. You're going to do this for both the top and the bottom. And as you can see, our top looks nice and clean and the fabric definitely won't fray on you. Moving on, you're going to take note of the position of your button placket. And on each side of the button placket, you're going to do a slight arch. This is what will enable you to draw out your cups, so I definitely recommend doing this. Once you have that, you're going to take your nice and sexy bra, you're going to be using this as a template, and all I'm doing is I'm aligning one edge of the bra onto that arch you just drew, and I'm just going to trace out the cup shape. This is to enable us to have a cup shape that actually fits our boobs, which is definitely going to be a good thing, so I recommend doing this. Just repeating the same exact thing on the other side folding in one side of the bra and just tracing out the shape to make it easier for me to just have a properly fitting top once we've drawn out our cups it's now time to cut off that excess bit of fabric and make sure to only cut through the top layer you don't want this on the bottom and top layer so all i'm doing is i'm taking a pair of scissors and following that curve and i'm just going to cut off that bit of excess fabric I repeated this on the other side and we have now two cup shapes that we're going to come back to later. Moving on to the top bit of the shirt, we're now going to cut out a bit of fabric that's going to go into the cup shapes you just cut out. So I'm going to measure the length of one bra cup and it was 20 centimeters for me. I'm going to add 5 centimeters to this measurement and it became 25 centimeters. I also measured the width of one cup minus 14 centimeters. I added 4 centimeters to make 18 centimeters and you're going to draw out a rectangle with this measurement so my length was 25 centimeters and my width was 18 centimeters I just drew a curve all the way to the bottom there's actually no formula to this just make sure the curve isn't too steep mine was so I went back in and made sure she was less steep once you're satisfied with the shape of your curve you're just going to cut out that bit of fabric and you're now going to have one bit of fabric that will go into the cup shapes you just cut out earlier 
After you've cut out that bit, you're going to use it as a template and cut out another bit that's exactly the same. I cut out my bit of fabric from the chest area of my shirt, but just find a position that has enough fabric and cut out a shape that's exact to the one you just cut out. After this is done, you're going to have two bits of fabric that are the same shape and I'm just going to zigzag stitch the edge just to prevent fraying. If you have an overlocker, use that. And now it's time to make a casing for our elastic. Taking my elastic, I'm just going to make sure the casing I'm making is sufficient enough to insert my elastic later on. After I did that, I'm just spinning down the fabric and making a casing for my elastic. After that is done, I'm just going to sew a straight stitch straight across the pins. That way we have a casing for our elastic to go through. Once this is done, you're going to have a casing that looks something like this. As you can see, she looks nice. She's ready to go. And you're going to repeat this on the other bit of fabric as well. And you're going to have two bits of fabric with casings. So now all I'm doing is I put a safety pin onto one end of the elastic. And I'm just shushing it through my casing. That way it comes out the other end. Once the elastic emerges, I'm just going to get rid of the safety pin and I'm just going to pin that end to the fabric, that way it doesn't move about. Once you turn her the right way out, that's what she looks like. You're going to repeat this on the other side as well. And now you're going to make sure the elastic you put is exactly the same as the length of your cup shape. As you can see, I'm just shushing out the elastic and making sure it's exactly the length I need. And once I'm satisfied with my length, I'm just going to cut off the excess bit of elastic and I'm also going to pin down that end that way my elastic doesn't move about and I repeated this onto the other bit of fabric as well and now you have two bits of fabric that look something like this turning them inside out I'm just going to sew the ends of the elastic that way they stay put and don't move about I just did a straight stitch and back stitched a couple of times I cut off the excess bit of elastic as we don't need it and you will have something that looks like this now you're going to do a basting stitch all the way around and that's simply a straight stitch. Make sure you have a lot of hanging thread as you're going to be gathering this bit to fit the cup size. So all I'm doing is a straight stitch. Do not back stitch at any point as you want to be able to pull the threads. You're going to repeat this onto the other bit of fabric and as you can see I have a lot of hanging thread. I'm just going to pull the top thread. This is going to gather my fabric and I'm going to spread that about. And I'm simply just going to repeat this until we have quite a bit of gathering and it somewhat forms kind of a cup shape. So take your time with this, pull the top thread, shush it out, make sure there's not too much gathering at one point. After some time, you're going to have something that looks like this and this is what you're going to attach to your top. Obviously, repeat this onto the other bit of fabric and once that's done, as you can see, you have what you're going to attach to the cup shapes you cut out much earlier. So now at this point, I got rid of 4 centimeters from the top of the packet as I wanted it to be super easy to attach the cups. And then I flipped the shirt inside out and I had the wrong side of the cups facing me. So I'm going to make sure I double hem that top bit that I just cut before sewing the cups onto my top. And as you can see, I'm just attaching the cups to my top. And I used a lot of pins for this, so be ready to use almost all your pins. Just make sure you're aligning the gathered fabric and you're somewhat trying to spread out things evenly. That way it looks nice and gathered evenly once you sew everything down. Once everything is nice and pinned, you're just going to sew along the pins to attach the cup to your top. You're going to repeat this onto the other side, just pin the fabric in place, take your time with this, make sure there's not too much gathering that's happening at one point, and after everything is nice and pinned, you're going to take it to your sewing machine and sew along the pins. I just used a straight stitch to do this, and slowly attached my cups to my top. Once this was done, that's what the inside will look like. And once you turn it the right way out, as you can see, your cap is beautifully attached to your top. So now we basically have our top. As you can see, the top is really, really big and we need to downsize her. So instead of cutting her up, I decided to do sharing at the back as this will help gather the fabric and also add a detail that's fun to the top. So all I'm doing is I'm measuring seven centimeters from the cups and drawing a straight line down on both sides. And and the entire length from those lines all the back 
back bit is going to be shared. So I have an entire video on how to share. You share with elastic thread on your sewing machine. This is really easy to do. It's just very time consuming. I definitely will link my video on sharing down below in case you want to learn how to share for yourself. So basically I just shared and shared for like hours. I'm not even joking. As you can see the fabric gathers up quite nicely and you're going to share all the way down. 2000 years later. After about 10 hours of sharing, as you can see I have that weird patch. It kind of bothers me, but whatever. So as you can see, we have a nice beautifully shared top. This is the entire backside, and I was really pleased with how this came out despite how time consuming it was. I also took in a bit of excess fabric inside my top. This is basically where the sharing ends and begins. So I just pinched a bit of fabric. I think mine was about 5 cm and I sewed across the pins and cut off the excess bit of fabric that way the top would fit me nice and snug once that was done that is the bit of fabric I got rid of it's quite a lot and I did this on both sides where the sharing ended and began so opening this up I just want to show you where I took in the excess bit of fabric in case you're confused so along that edge I'm pinching that's exactly where the excess fabric was and now since my top was very long, I decided I wanted a crop top. This is totally optional in case you want a longer top, it's totally up to you. Basically all I did is I drew a straight line using my ruler and piece of chalk and after drawing that line I cut off the excess bit of fabric and now I'm just opening up my top that way I can easily double hem the bottom. That way my fabric doesn't fray and she looks nice and complete. After that was done using a straight stitch, my top looked like this and I'm so in love with how this top turned out. Moving on to the final bit which is making the sleeves, I just took the sleeves on my shirt, one on top of the other, and I drew a bit of sleeve which was about 15 centimeters wide. As you can see, both sleeves are on top of each other, that way I can have two exact shapes. And I'm just going to cut off that bit of 15 centimeter fabric. The 15 centimeters was the width of my sleeve and as you can see we now have two beautiful pieces of fabric. Now I turned them inside out that way we can make a casing for our elastic at both the top and the bottom. I recommend overlocking the edge or zigzag stitching it because my fabric frayed so much. I forgot to do that so definitely do that before you make a casing for your elastic. As you can see I put the pins straight where I need to leave a gap because you do need to leave a gap where you're going to insert your elastic after everything is nice and sewn. So I usually slant all my other pins and when I need to leave the gap I just put straight pins. Once you're done you're just going to do a straight stitch all the way around. Make sure to leave a gap. It is so annoying to forget to leave your gap so yeah make sure you don't forget to do that. After that is done it's now time to insert our elastic. I took a bit of elastic measured it around my arm and taking that measurement of elastic I pinned one safety pin to the elastic elastic and slid that through my fabric and then pinned a safety pin onto the other end and this is what is going to guide my elastic through my casing. So I just slowly guided my elastic through my casing until she emerged on the other end. Once I was done I took out the safety pin and I took them both out, both safety pins. And I'm just going to attach these two bits of elastic together using a pin. So I'm just going to sew a straight stitch across both ends of the elastic and you're going to put her back and sew that gap shut. Now taking a bit of elastic I measured the bottom of my arm and with that bit of elastic I did the same exact thing. Pinned a safety pin to one end and used the hairpin on the other end as my elastic was too small for my big safety pin to pass through. So after shushing out the elastic and making sure she came out the other end I'm going to do the same thing. Get rid of the hairpin, get rid of the safety pin and then I'm going to attach both ends together using a pin. That way I can easily sew this down. After that was done I just sewed the elastic together and closed the gap. After this is done on both sleeves the remaining bit is to attach the sleeves to your top and I just did this along the seams. So the seam of the sleeve and the seam of the top. 
and after that was done you have your top she's looking beautiful I also added two buttons just to make sure my top wasn't gaping open so basically that's it for my video guys thank you so much for watching let me know if you guys are going to be trying this DIY it's super easy to do and the result looks fabulous so I highly encourage you guys to try it other than that thank you so much for watching today's video let me know any other DIYs you want to see on this channel I would love to try them and having said that I really hope I catch a beautiful face in my next video until then stay safe and DIY all your boyfriend's shirts I give you the permission to do so and if you don't have a boyfriend take your dad's shirts take your brother's shirts it doesn't matter whose shirts they are just make sure you fashion all of them you have my blessing <laughs> see you guys next time bye